Our former Bears linebacker Dick Butkus, known as one of the greatest defensive players to ever play in the NFL and the leader of the Monsters of the Midway, has died. Butkus made the Hall of Fame despite only playing nine seasons because of a chronic knee injury. His viciousness was legendary. Packers running back MacArthur Lane once said he'd rather go one-on-one -on -one with a grizzly bear than the iconic Chicago bear. After his playing days, Butkus became a well-known pitch man with his Miller Lite commercials with Bubba Smith making them known to another generation of fans. Dick Butkus was 80 years old. Quite the career in the NFL, played from 1965 to 1973, earning eight Pro Bowl appearances, third most in Bears history. His career earned him enshrinement into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1979. He made the NFL All-Anniversary Team their 75th one and their 100th one. And again, Dick, Dick Butkus, the iconic number 51 dead at the age of 80. Courtney Cronin covers the Bears for ESPN, is a Chicago area native, and, and Courtney joins us now ahead of the Commander's Bears game. Courtney, when you talk about iconic players connected to a city, it was Dick Puckis. What legacy does he leave behind in Chicago? Kevin, Dick Butkus has not played football since the 1970s, but when you walk into Soldier Field on any given Sunday, you see as many number 51 jerseys probably as you see of any current player. That is the legacy he had on this fan base in this city, which is known for its blue-collar mentality, the monsters of the midway. He's the one who started that, and I was actually on our pregame show on ESPN 1000, ESPN Chicago, earlier this evening when the news of Dick Butkus's passing broke, and I was on with Lance Briggs, someone who knows a thing or two about being a great linebacker in the city of Chicago. I asked him about the legacy of Dick Butkus and what that meant to him. He said that this is not an easy city to do that in, and his memories of Dick Butkus align with what he and Doug Buffon talked about, playing next to the great one. Obviously, Lance Briggs referring to Brian Erlacher the way that Doug Buffon did with Dick Butkus, but it's something that players talk about, those coming here to carry on that legacy. T.J. Edwards, Tremaine Edmonds, both aiming to do that this year. Did Butkus gone too soon? We had just seen him during the alumni weekend, week one at Soldier Field. He was firing up the crowd during a timeout with the team reporter, and it was such an incredible thing to see, and one that I think is going to really remain in the hearts of Bears fans for many years to come. Courtney, to your point, he tweeted out that day, somebody give me some pads and a quarterback to tackle. <laughs> <laughs> that just sums up Dick Butkus. Courtney, thank you so much with your perspective.